Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you can't tell already with the hairband, today's video is going to be a skincare video. It's going to be a wee bit different from my last skincare video as it's an Aldi dupe video. So it's a full skincare routine using only Aldi's products. So I think I've got a full skincare routine here for around about £30. So I'm just going to start by taking my makeup off. I feel like Aldi's really bringing the dupes in just now. Like they've got the NARS and the... Uh, Tart, I think it is, concealer dupes. I've also bought them but I've not tried them out yet, I'm going to do that in a separate video. But yeah, I've got concealer dupes, skincare dupes, I've got loads and loads of things in just now. The routine I'm going to be doing just now is like a nighttime skincare routine, it's like 7 8 at night just now. So I'm just going to take off my makeup and then like start from there and just like this will be my skincare done for the night. So first I'm going to take off my makeup and they've got a dupe for the Elmas Cleansing Balm it's called. Um, I've seen a lot of makeup artists using this to take off makeup so I thought why not give it a go, it was quite cheap, I don't have my receipt with me now so I can't tell you exactly how much it was but it wasn't expensive and it was a fraction of the price of what the Elemis one is. So it comes like nicely packaged, it, it, oh, it's got a wee cloth in it as well, big load male nails again. Probably won't use that, I prefer using my face sponge for taking stuff off my face but we'll have a wee nose in. So it's like a wee flannel, it's got liqueur on the back and it's got a wee hook to hang it up in the bathroom and it's so soft. Right, um, for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to use this. Um, I've never actually tried the Elemis Cleansing Balm. Um, I'm sure the Elemis packaging is kind of similar to this, except like this bit's clear. Kind of, well, I've stuck my finger around, so it's probably going to be ugly, but if you can see that, alright. It looks like Vaseline almost, so I've got a big lump on my finger just now, I just dug my hand right in. But it's definitely like the consistency of Vaseline. As I said, I've not used the Elemis one before, so I can't really compare. I've got a mirror here, by the way, so I'm just going to look off camera just now. So I'm just going to rub it into my face. This is what I've seen people doing with the um, Elemis one. I mean it takes it off really easy. I think it's kind of oil based. I don't have any eye makeup on there. I don't even have foundation on it. It's just like a cream bronzer and some concealer. So I don't have a wee bit of powder. So I don't have like a heavy base on. So I think I can't really say, oh this is so good for taking makeup off because I've not judged it on like a full glam but for this it's taken it off pretty well. I mean obviously I look like a shiny mess but I mean it's to look in the mirror it looks like my makeup's all off. I'm just going to use this wee colour. I'm assuming this is what you do with it. Dampen the cleansing cloth. Oh well that's dry. I couldn't just go to sleep now like definitely not. I feel I'll need another cleanse but I'm not going to use that. It has taken my makeup off like with ease. I'm going to Go in again and see if any more comes off. As I said, I didn't have a lot of makeup on. But I mean, it did take it off quite well. Nothing really else is coming off now. So I suppose it has actually taken my makeup off quite well. So that's that ruined. As I said, it has taken my makeup off pretty well. But I couldn't just take it off with that and then, like, that would be me done. I'd need to go wash my face. So. I don't have an Aldi cleanser, that was the only kind of cleanser thing that I could find when I was buying this all. So I'm going to just go off camera and cleanse my face using an actual cleanser so it's clean so I can go on to the next step. So that's me back, I went and cleansed my face with my CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser just to kind of get all that stuff off. But overall opinion of it is it's quite good for taking your makeup off. I'm assuming that's just what it's for, like I'm assuming it's not for an actual cleanser. So if it's just a makeup remover and then you would need to cleanse again then yeah it's really good like it does dissolve it really fast um, and it was like kind of luxuriously packaged with a wee cloth and stuff so yeah I probably would buy it again if I ran out. So next step I'm going to tone. I had the choice of three toners here. I actually bought all three toners. Um, the salicylic acid toner, the something word, something collagen toner, I'm not reading it I'll just show you it. Um, and the vitamin C toner so this is them um, here. So they're quite big bottles, um, as I said, um, I don't have my receipt here just now to tell you the exact price but everything was relatively cheap. This is the one that I couldn't pronounce. So if you can see that, that's what I couldn't see, whatever that is. Um, the salicylic acid one says clarifying toner with prebiotics, aloe and willow bark. The one that I couldn't pronounce um, says it's a skin conditioning toner with coconut water and sea salt and then the vitamin C toner said it's a brightening toner with willow bark and turmeric or turmeric whatever you say um extracts so i think i'm going to go for the salicylic acid one um, i'm quite a salicylic acid fan um gets rid of blackheads cleans out your pores well so this is the one i'm going to go for there's no like smell or anything to it i just this sounds daft but i feel like it's like micellar water i feel they're lying there isn't a 
a toner. Like sometimes with toners, um, special ones with like acids and stuff in it, I find you get um, like a wee tingle, but I don't feel anything. Um, but I suppose it's not really a bad thing. I always just like to think if I feel something tingling, then I know it's working. But um, I can't feel anything. But so far, it feels fine. Like I'm not getting any irritation or anything. Like I'm just going to dry off my face. You can obviously get toners with like active ingredients and stuff in them. I see I can normally feel working, like you get a slight tingle or something to it. Um, and then over time you would gradually see results. Like I probably need to try it for a few weeks to see proper results. Because um, as of now I just feel like I've put micellar water on my face. Um, but yeah, it doesn't smell minging, it's nice enough. The packaging's cute. It's kind of like a pixie dupe I think. Um, but yeah, I feel if you are looking for like skincare dupes or a budget or something it would be good to get. So my next step I'm going to do is a sheet mask. Um, I actually picked up the Caviar Luxury Anti-Aging Sheet Mask. 24 now who doesn't need things with anti-aging in it? Like prevention is the best cure. And there's three masks in this. Um, so what they've got in them, it says luxurious and highly effective special treatment for your skin. Um, it just says it provides your skin with refreshing moisture and ensures vitality and a radiant complexion. The luxurious mask with precious caviar extract, snow algae extract and hyaluronic acid has a caring effect and improves the moisture level of your skin. So it just says on this, leave leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and that's it really. Um, so I'm going to pop this on just now. I mean it's juicy, it's definitely not dry, which I did kind of think it would be. I assumed because it wasn't that expensive there wouldn't be a lot of like serum in it. It just feels like any other sheet mask, it doesn't feel like cheaper. Or, I mean, oh it smells quite nice. It doesn't smell too perfumey but like it doesn't feel like I look like a fucking crap dog. Whose faces do they get these to like mould on it because they never fit properly. It says me that's just got it to fit perfectly. I actually see in terms of sheet masks, this one's actually on pretty <laughs> Got to look like not. This one's actually on pretty well. Normally, um, they kind of sag at bits. I mean, this is it does have wee wrinkles and stuff, but um, I mean, it's not the baggiest. I've had ones that are like sacks, so this one's actually not too bad. It smells quite nice. It doesn't, as I said, it doesn't smell dead perfumed. It just smells like clean almost. I know that sounds weird, but it just smells like see like serums. It just smells like that. So it doesn't. It's not perfumed, and it just it feels quite nice to be honest. Um, I'm going to leave this on for 5 to 10 minutes, well it says 10 to 15 but I'm not sitting here for 15 minutes with this on my face. I can't take myself seriously looking in that viewfinder. Um, I mean I think it would be quite good and for, t like, sorry this bit's going to keep hanging over my mouth. Um, but I think if you're wanting to sit and relax with a sheet mask on this would be pretty relaxing. It's nice and cool. It feels dead fresh on my skin so I think I'd definitely buy these again. Um, but I'll see what it feels like once I've had it on for a wee bit. And like the serum soaked in because I might get like a kind of sticky. Oh, sugar, sorry, I'm just trying to position this. I might get a kind of sticky film in my face. I'll see you in a wee minute. Um, but I'm going to stop recording just now, and I'll get back to you when this is dry then. So I've had this on for a wee bit now. So I'm going to take it off. Um, oh, I mean I do feel nice and fresh. Um, I feel you can't really review skincare until you've used it for a few weeks. Um, I probably should have done that first and then be able to come on and tell you like, oh my god, it's so good, but there was me, didn't think, but um, yeah, I mean, it does feel nice. Like, the serum does feel really nice um, on my face. I actually did quite like that. I don't know if it's like the whole gimmick in it. I like relaxing and like, oh, I've got a mask on stuff I quite like, but um, yeah, I mean, the serum's drying in quite well now, um, so I think it's all good. So I'm going to let this soak in again without the like the mask on before I put on my next step because I don't want to put all the products on top of each other and then they won't soak in right so I'm going to let this soak in and then I'll pop on my next serum. While I'm soaking in I'm going to let, smell these other toners because I don't think it's fair to just review it on the... Oh no that one smells good. So it must just be the salicylic acid one, it doesn't smell when I put this in the back of my hand. I don't know if I'm tripping but this smells like oranges. Oh it definitely does, that smells really really nice. I think they've kind of copied the like, Ole Henrik, or I don't know if all vitamin C things smell like oranges but the Ole Henrik's and like vitamin C stuff all smells quite orangey. I really wish I'd tried this one now. Let's try this one now. Is it Akasai or... I don't know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Well that one smells, I'll put it in the lid. That one smells quite nice as well actually. It's not got a really strong fragrance to it, like I can just smell a wee hint of something. It smells quite clean, it smells like... Oh, it's about the state of me sniffing this. Um, I don't know what it smells like. Oh sugar, I've spilled that everywhere. It does smell like something I've smelled before though, it is quite 
nice. So um, just my salicylic acid one didn't have a, bleed, like a wee scent to it. So two um, serum type of products that I seen when I was in Aldi are the same kind of style packaging as the toners that I think it's the kind of pixie vibes are going for. So they are they're both in um, healthy glow range again and I've got the retinol and that word I can't pronounce so the toner retinol and acacia or acac uh, whatever it is retinol and whatever collagen serum and the healthy glow rose oil um, so it's these I open them up um, the the rose one says nourishing face oil with rose and pomegranate oils and the retinol one says plumping serum with chamomile retinol and that word collagen for use daily after cleansing and toning your face massage two or three drops into the skin or add one or two drops to your moisturiser before applying for extra hydration. So obviously retinol you're only supposed to use at night. It doesn't say this on it, which it should. Um, it says for use daily after cleansing or ton and toning, massage into the skin for extra hydration. It doesn't say anything about not using it in the morning. The rose oil one says for use daily, both AM and PM, but that one doesn't tell you if you can use it both or just one, um, which I think it should because retinol you shouldn't be putting it on in the morning. So, um, that's the only thing I have with that package and they should definitely be putting a warning on that. So this is the bottles, are quite cute. Um, I'm really getting pixie vibes from it but I don't know if I'm talking rubbish. Um, if the serums don't look anything like this, ignore me. But I think I'll put the retinol one on. See how it is. Everybody loves retinol just now. We love a bit of anti-aging. Doesn't smell of anything um, so far. I think I'll pop it on the back of my hands and just rub it in to my face. I don't like popping my serum straight on my face. So I'll rub this in, just rub it in the back of my hands and I'm just going to pop it all over. Just going to avoid my eye area, I don't want to be popping retinol straight under there because the skin's quite delicate. It feels quite nice. It's definitely not like sticky or anything like that, which I did think it was going to be. See, because it's cheaper, you do just tend to think like the, um, the quality of the products isn't going to be that good. They're going to just be sticky and like not that nice, but it actually does feel really nice. It's not knitting or stinging. The only thing as well, see if it's got retinol in it, it's not telling you a percentage, I'm assuming it's a low percentage because I can't really feel in. It might not even actually have retinol in it. Well it does actually have retinol in it, I'm just not sure what percentage it is. It says dermatologically tested, so it's suitable for sensitive skin. So it can't be that high a percentage. Um, I'll obviously be able to see what it's like in the next few days or in a few weeks time once I've like used it quite a lot. Um, so far I can't say but like, for applicating stuff it feels really nice, it doesn't feel sticky as I said, it's drying in really nice. Um, but yeah, it feels quite good so far. I've actually got a few of the Ordinary Serums. I know this is, um, it's not the same but like, they're, is it the Hyaluronic Acids or one of the things I use, I'm not too sure what it is, um, Alpha Butin, one of them leave a dead sticky film on your face and like see, God forbid you forgot to put moisturiser on, you would feel like I need something to soften this, like you could feel there's something sticky on your face whereas this is like, it's melting them really, really good. Right, I've came to the conclusion that I actually really like um, that retinol serum. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's going to do it, and I don't know if I'm going to look 12 in the next few weeks if I keep using it, but it does feel so nice on my face. Like, I think this is like, it's dead hydrating and moisturising as well. I don't know if it's that acacia, whatever the hell it's called, that's in it. Someone tell me what that says. Like, tell me the pronunciation in the comments, please, because. <laughs> I'm hopeless, like, I have no clue, I just obviously can't read, but whatever's in it really hydrates your skin, Um, it feels really good, so I'm just going to pop on some moisturiser now, I've got two here to show you, I've got a day cream and a night cream, so this is them here, both Lacura, um, one's the caviar range again, sorry it's that shiny packaging, so it's kind of flashing on my lights, and then the other one, cell station it's called, obviously it's my night time routine, so I'm going to do the night one, the caviar anti-age night cream, and it's got the exact same things in it as what the mask did, so it's got caviar extract, snow algae and hyaluronic acid, um, so I'm just going to pop this on just now, we've got the day cream, it's a black with rose gold lid, which might be hard to see because of the flashback of my lights, and then we've got the blue with the silver lid, they're both really really heavy, it doesn't feel like cheap shit, it feels nice, so I'm going to pop on the moisturiser just now, just put this on. I don't know if I've put on too much, but if I have, we'll spread it down the neck, it's fine. I mean, it's really thick, it is quite a thick moisturiser. But I suppose for a night cream, if you're going to sleep with it on. The only thing I couldn't get was an eye cream. Um, I think they do do a caviar eye cream, because I've seen the wee label, I'm sure. But I didn't, they didn't actually have it in, so I don't have an eye cream to pop on. I actually quite like this. It's a, I don't normally like a thick moisturiser. like. I normally like something like a kind of gel based, like dead, not runny, but like quite hydrating almost. Um, 
this is really nice. It definitely spreads well and stuff. It's soaking in really well as well. It's not like as if there's loads and it's leaving a film on my skin. It actually feels quite nice. I probably a big shiny mess, but it actually feels really nice on. Um, I'll let this again soak in for a minute or so um, before giving a proper review on how it feels in the skin because it's obviously just been put on but so far so good I mean it's it's soaking in very well it's not sticky like it just feels nice like it feels dead hydrating as well definitely I'm going to keep using this I don't think I actually have like a night cream I think I not just I just have moisturizer um that I normally just put on at night after my skincare routine so I might like just stick to using this it's anti-aging as well um I suppose it can't do any harm can it um did it, it had hyaluronic acid in it as well, didn't it? I think that's why it probably feels so hydrating. It does, it feels really nice. So I'm going to let this soak in and I'll come back to you in a few seconds. So I've left that to soak in for a wee minute or so. Um, it still feels kind of, not wet, I still I can feel as if it's not soaked in properly. I don't know if I'm going to need to leave it longer. I suppose you would be going to your bed anyway and um, it's not as if you would be putting makeup or anything on top of this. So um, it does still feel as if there's something like on my skin. And it's not like pilling or anything, like so that way when you... You remember when you were, were rubbing your hands together and you would get the wee bits. It's not doing that, it's not like coming away. It's everything seems to have like absorbed in. I never let the serum soak in for that long to be honest. It was only a couple of minutes. But yeah, overall I do think the moisturising stuff was really good. So I think if you're wanting a full skincare routine for quite cheap, um I definitely think Aldi's the place to go. These things kinda like they come into the shop and then they like all sell out and you don't know I don't know if they're gonna get them back in again. I don't know if this is like a, these are like ranges they're gonna have in store all the time. The only thing I wasn't I wasn't too sure about was that cleansing balm thing but as I said about 40 times already I don't know if it's just because I've not used that type of product before I think maybe if I was used to using a cleansing balm to take off my makeup and then my next step would be just cleansing as normal with an actual cleanser maybe I would really like it but I mean it was as I said it was good it was a good makeup remover and I liked how it's packaged up and stuff and it smelled really nice so if you like the Elemis cleansing balm I would definitely recommend going and getting that and toner wise I'm really excited to use the vitamin C one because that smelled really nice like it just smelled that dead, like, clean orangey smell that Ole Henriksen skincare smells like, like their vitamin C range. But the salicylic acid one that I tried in this video, I mean, it was a nice toner. I don't really normally use a toner, I just normally go in with uh, straight in with serums. So, it is a first for me. I've used the Dark Spot Toner by Ole Henriksen before, and I did feel a wee tingle and stuff to it when I used it, which I quite liked, because I felt like I knew it was working. As I said, this felt like... I was just putting my cellar water on my face but I feel any toner is like that normally if it doesn't have like active ingredients in it so all in all I would probably use them again Um, I definitely want to try the vitamin C one serums Um, obviously I didn't try the rose oil one but the retinol I did quite like it it did feel really nice to go on the skin it didn't pill with my moisturiser the serum overall felt really nice melted into the skin well and wasn't sticky or anything which I really liked and moisturiser the night cream was actually quite good I've never used a cream specifically just for night so it was quite thick but I'm imagining that a night cream normally is quite thick because you're just going to your bed but it was quite hydrating I do feel that my skin's dead like I feel it's had like a big drink of water almost because that's the sheet mask and the moisturiser have both got hyaluronic acid in them so I do feel like my skin's dead hydrated just now and that's that um, I think I'll do a wee update on Instagram and let you guys know how I got on the other two toners and the day cream but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe share it with your friends and I'll see you guys in my next video what why am I talking like I'm doing a fucking presentation okay right well I'm not doing that